Everybody these days is talking, you know, the past several years about Industry 4.0 and big data, and that's a really good question. Well, what exactly is that? So I think when people think about digital transformation, they mostly think about the flashy displays and the, the visuals that you get from it, but really that's, that's not where digital transformation starts. It starts with where you acquire the data, how you store it, how you access it, and then finally you get with how you display that information. Our vision for quality starts, especially in the factory, with having stable processes. And with a stable process, you produce high quality parts. When I first got in to the quality teams at Bobcat, one of our biggest challenges was our current processes were not very repeatable. We had some programming limitations with one of our existing software solutions. Um, we weren't able to capture the right data. We weren't able to convey the right data to our organization. I felt that we had kind of capped out our potential with what we could do with that program. It was quite outdated. On top of that, we had an inability to access the data. We weren't able to make confident decisions and product improvements because of us not being able to capture and convey that information. And that pushed us to, uh, to further evaluate what other 3D metrology software is on the market. I think it's really important for people to understand that, you know, when you're making a digital transformation and you're, you're selecting a software platform or something, to, to not take it lightly. If the shop floor operators don't like it, they're not going to use it. When we went through this process, we had seven different softwares over three different factories over nine months, and we had 60 different evaluation criteria to be able to select a software. Um, we brought in 10 different people that were evaluators from our IT side all the way through all the quality engineering sides, and, and ultimately we selected Inspector Gaging. Uh, so using PolyWorks gauging, uh, we take a lot of measurements with measurement tools such as this one here. Uh, with this micrometer, we may catch like a length measurement. Um, we also measure diameters, really any sort of a physical feature on a part that you can capture with a gauging tool. One of the best things about PolyWorks over the other software is we didn't need to learn an entirely new programming language like Python scripting just to create an inspection project. You can take someone with minimal or no PolyWorks experience and in a matter of minutes he's got two inspection projects created and completed with all the features, gauging, and a sequence. I would say the key elements uh, that we found in PolyWorks gauging software that allows us to be more successful would range from the ability to access the data all the way up to the ability of the operators to have direction and understand what they're measuring. The user interface is a tremendous improvement over our previous legacy software. The operators really like being able to see the CAD model, spin the CAD model, um, if they're not sure where they should take the measurements, they can, they can rotate it and see from a different angle. They can have a highlighted dimension on there showing what it is that I want them to measure, and I have an image in the bottom left corner showing how to measure it, also physically with that tool. The shop floor operators can then go to work at alternative workstations that they've not worked at before. They don't need to know the part. They don't necessarily even need to know that measurement tool all that well. why we chose to display um, our control charts and stuff to our operators on the shop floor is because they make instantaneous decisions off of that. They can be proactive. They don't have to wait until an insert breaks to, to change it. An operator can evaluate that, take down notes, and then hand it to a quality or a manufacturing engineer. And if there's a more efficient way to do it, the operators are gonna find it. Uh, they feel more empowered. They are actually more empowered to make the process changes when it's actually needed. We are over 200% more measurements taken um, overall in the factory, and that's just a result of them being more comfortable with the program, liking the program more, and using it more. We were capturing so much data, 
so fast in our organization and we weren't maybe the best at storing it in a single location. But with the Data Loop product and marrying that with Inspector, we now can access it and we can solve global issues with just a few clicks. Having the data to know if your process is moving and it's also stable. So it is very important for that. And of course, you have tooling, you have fixturing, you have machining centers, you have things that make stable parts, but having the data for measurements then ties it all together. Seeing Data Loop enable us to not just double things, but actually exponentially increase our measurements now to several thousands of measurements per month. It's, to me, that's incredibly rewarding. Right? I think that's one of the reasons why we continue to stay with Metric products is because of the people. I mean, it's not just the products. The products can sell themselves. It's the people there that support it. The relationship that we've continually built with them, it, it just shows that they're not just about improving their product. They're there to solve my problems. They're there to solve customer problems.